I think young people, whether you are in Washington, or whether you're in your Beijing, or in Shanghai, or in New York, we have to recognize that the world has changed a lot. The emerging technology, they also transform our world, but they are still have a kind of a negative consequences, the so-called disruptive effect. Can we work together to manage those new challenges? Or when we are living in a much better world, quite a higher living standard, like Shanghai people or New York people. But still, there are quite a number of people in a less developed or much vulnerable world. They are still suffer from a deep hit by the pandemic. Can the young people in China, in the United States can work together to deal with those challenges? So I really call for those people to try to continue to see the connection between each other in this new context. We are living in the same world. Both sides need to, as quick as possible, in good faith, to resume the strategic dialogue. Secondly, I also think that it's very important that both sides should focus on their domestic reform because it's very dangerous. It is also useless to try to outsource the domestic problems by seeking an external scapegoat. And thirdly, I think that uh, it is very important for both sides to try to rebuild, to rebuild a fundamental framework governing the bilateral relationship. That without the collaboration in good faith between Washington and Beijing, no problem of the world could be solved permanently. Washington these days, they have conjured the so-called a democracy versus autocracy rhetoric. This is us and them rhetoric. Either you are with the US or you are with China. Those other countries, particularly the European countries like Germany or France, they do not accept the idea that containment of China is the right answer towards the so-called China's problem. They also reject the idea of decoupling. Europeans as a whole regard China as a very important partner. It is very difficult for the United States to try to forge a coalition against China.